We did it. We made it through the, the week alive. And everyone went to school every single day. <laughs> it's hard. Um, especially like whenever you work a full-time job, you have to take care of three kids and then get them all to school, two different school buildings. It's a lot, but we made it and I'm so glad. I was exhausted by the end of the week, we all were. And we've just been like relaxing all day. We've got Harry Potter on. I've done some reading, watched a little YouTube. Just a relaxing day, have my cup of tea now. And then I have to head to the uniform store just for like some bits and bobs that we're missing. Um, pretty chill. Abby came with me to the uniform store. We have to um, get like a few bits and pieces that we forgot. You guys are so quiet. Abby has car snacks. Let me show you. We went to Nukes and she got a bunch of these snacks and put them in there. It's basically, it's saltines but she grabbed like a handful and she keeps them in the car for whenever she's More than a handful, two handfuls. she's very athletic so she needs lots of food for energy so Abby um, and I just witnessed something crazy in the uniform store it was horrible it was horrible basically we were in there and I don't even know how like you would react to this, but we were in there and there was this lady just straight up arguing with one cool? of the workers that she like needs to get a free shirt and blah, blah, blah. And then she was saying, yeah, the lady told me that I don't have to pay, that I get the shirt for free and just to come back today. And they called the lady and the lady was like, no, that never happens. And like, she was just like straight up arguing with them. It was insane. Abby was like, what did you say? I said, not a big deal. It's just a shirt. She was like, it's just a shirt. But this lady was like literally being so mean to the worker. And Abby felt bad because the worker had a broken leg too. So she was like hobbling around. And I don't know, we were just like shocked at I should have stand how mean somebody could be to another human like, like publicly i should have stand up to like like i should have helped the one that had a broken leg the worker mm -hmm. and i should have said it's just a stupid shirt i don't know it's just weird like publicly to behave like that even if it's not public like that's not how you should treat anyone all right make sure you come down below we're gonna get ourselves a treat it's, after that, right? Where yeah. We yeah, we deserve one. Where are we going? I don't know. Where did you keep telling me you wanted to go? It starts with a C. And it's closed on Sunday. We'll let you guys guess. Is she much more better now? People! Lots of people are at the stockyards today. Maybe we'll go one day. Now we have been in a long time. Make sure you comment down below and wonder where we're going. Are we still at the stop sign? Uh, <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a stockyards called Stockyards. And the name of the stockyards was Stockyards. And everybody loves the stockyards. And stockyards is a place with lots of restaurants and um, places like there's candy place where you can get candy we used to always go to the stockyards and we used to always go to the candy shop every time we used to go to the stockyards sure just saw one. every time oh wait what I'm pretty sure that man just had like a wolf dog oh my gosh we're definitely not editing that out don't edit that out jail Jerry. Jerry? <laughs> yeah, that's our editor's name. Do you forget? Oh, yeah, Jerry. Yeah. Don't edit that part out, Jerry. People are driving like psychos over here. <gasps> I love the Queen of England. She has a corgi. Oh, yeah, corgi. I love every dog, even wolves. I have a secret of mine that y'all guys can know. Ha ha ha. Ow, 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 ow. Do I? Yeah, I 
dog is it's so kawaii. There was there once there was a girl named Lisa with a YouTube channel and her fans were just kawaii. If you don't know what kawaii means, it means cute. Palm trees, I see palm trees. I wish I could check. Now I can know. Oh, there's a blue truck. I'm going to check the radio. Look out for books coming soon. Okay, Abby finished her story. <clears throat> I'm gonna read it to you. Two kids, one dragon. There once was two kids and two parents. The, they all lived in a small cabin. The, 
Dad always worked all day. And the mom farmed all day to make food. So the kids went to the forest. Their, their names were Linda and Heather. But the forest was magical. They went on and found a blue trail. Oh, you're right there. They followed. They followed the trail. They found your beautiful, beautiful purple. You're right there. You keep losing your dragon. Dragon. That doesn't look like a dragon word to me. That's supposed to be a D. Let's take in this stuff. Where was I? Dragon. Um. Right there. Yeah, that's supposed to be a D. We put an A. Because you put an A. Dragon. With red wings. And the holy power, power of Marin. Power of Marin means the power of shortness and the power of strongness. Mix together Marin. Then the then we see <laughs> that you're tired. Burning dragon. Dragon was asleep. Then she woke up and tried, tried to get the kids to leave. The kids went home. The end. The end. Well, guys, that's not the real story. I was just told to make a, a short story, so I made a short story. But when I, if I get a good grade, I'll make the whole story, a whole chapter book, mm -hmm. every time I get home. Bye.